Let's talk about scaling now. So you talk about first hundred thousand million dollars. You did that mostly by yourself, yeah. it sounds yeah. like. Okay, so who was your first hire and uh, who do you suggest other people would be their first hire? Yeah, so for me, my first hire was a TC. Um, that means transaction coordinator. So what they pretty much did is once I got a contract, they helped facilitate everything with escrow and listings and all that stuff. And most people think that you have to hire an assistant, but you could hire a, a TC that, got, that gets paid per transaction after it closes. Okay, and then uh, who was your worst hire? Like the worst hire you ever made? Worst hire? I've hired a lot of bad people, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think who was the worst. Okay, tell us about how you could hire better yeah. uh, than like whenever you are hiring. Like who who was some bad ones? Why was it bad? And then how could the people do it better? Okay, so I hired a, a couple um, to do acquisitions, and the problem was the wife was just terrible at acquisitions. The husband was like decent, but then I had to deal with both of them. Mm. And then they would have issues and then I would be like dealing with their personal issues like during work hours. And then like it ended up like they were with me for like six months. And then before I knew it, they only closed like one deal or two deals in six months. Wow. But like I was hanging out with them. They were cool. They were friends. They were like a young couple like me and my wife. So everything was all great. But then when I actually looked at the numbers, I was like, okay, like this is a complete waste of time. And But then I, I didn't want to let them go because we were friends. So I ended up taking like way longer than it should have to get rid of them. Mm. Okay, and then who, so your first hire was a transaction coordinator. Uh, that I'm assuming that was when you were a real estate agent? Yep. Okay. Who do you suggest as an investor their first hire should be? Because I think a lot of people, especially in wealthy investor and stuff, always ask us, who's my first hire? Who's my first hire? Yep. I've heard different advice. Some people say, okay, you should uh, you know, hire the person that's the opposite of you. You should bring on this yep. person. What do you think is the best first hire for anybody? Uh, it's always going to depend on them but i always think you should hire the role that you're worst at um or for example let's say you're good at acquisitions you could hire a follow-up specialist or someone to look for more leads to give to you to close because that will make you more money mm -hmm. so rather you can go what's going to make you more money or um what are you bad at that's taking up a lot of your time. So that way you could focus your time on what you're good at. Yep, I love that. I think that's good advice. Cause yeah, you could either double down on what you're good at, find other systems, which is exactly what you did with your transaction coordinator. You're like, okay, I'm good at real estate. Here's all this other stuff that if I wasn't able to do this, I could do more of what I'm good at. So that's one advice. The other would be go the exact opposite of things that you're not good at and then hire that part out. So yeah, I love that. Cause I always hear the one of hiring what you're not good at, but I'm like, man, we hired an acquisitions guy. And that was what I was already good at, but it just amplified because yeah. I was able to translate that skill over to him. And then he's now just doing that full time all the time. And it brought our business to another level.